Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first off titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. Uh, we're playing as a samurai, and here are my stats. Okay, level 66, and here are all my attributes. The current state of my attributes, and the equipment that I'm using. Um, two main weapons are... Bloodhound's Fang plus 9, and the Longbow plus 17, and sometimes I buff things with um, the Hook Claws, which have the Golden Vow Ash of War, and I usually use this shield here. And we can, all, we can do all this normally without having to go into Heavy Load. Let me just get out of this ridiculous gear here and get to something more reasonable. The Crimson Hood, the Exile Armor, the Land of Reeds Gauntlets, and some pants. Hey, Bullseye, you got some pants. Yeah, I got some pants. Those weren't the pants you had before. You had some better pants. Nope, 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 nope. Was it this one? Yeah, this will stay in medium load. There we go. Okay. Um, as far as Patch's contract, I've given this some thought and realized I just did this on a lark. After, I mean, we just acquired the most important item, which is Godric's, um, or rather, Margaret's Shackle. And uh, doing Patch's contract i think i you know just did it on a lark after doing praxis runs to get marcus jacked up this it doesn't make sense strategically to do this because all this is going to earn us is the heaviest armor in the game which we're not going to use and we can sell it for 2000 runes and you may actually lose a rune arc um trying to get it even though you get a rune arc as part of a reward so you break even on the rune arc department so your final reward is 2000 runes from selling the armor which I I don't know if strategically it makes sense to do this. So I think I'm gonna skip this for now until I can figure out a like a very reliable way of kicking his ass. Cause this is a tough fight. This guy, it's a really tough fight. And uh, got to figure out a very reliable way of kicking his ass without the benefit of a rune arc. Cause I didn't want you guys burning through all your rune arcs doing this. Like you know, you burn one, but you know burn like six forget it just doesn't make sense not to mention you can summon this guy in the Redan boss fight which I'm not sure I'm gonna do but I don't want to burn that bridge either so right now this doesn't make sense to do this um, let's go to the next thing I had I planned on the list which is the Ray of Lucario crystal tunnel this is a great place to go this will get us the smithing stone bell bearing one which when we bring it to the Twin Maiden Husk at the round table uh, will allow us to buy unlimited Smithing Stones 1 and Smithing Stones 2. So instead of hunting around for Smithing Stones, we can just buy them and upgrade any weapon or shield to plus 6. So that's next on the list. There is a tricky section in there that involves some very difficult platforming, um, which <laughs> will probably result in losing a rune arc. And... I think that makes sense to do right after doing something else that involves some very difficult, not necessarily platforming, but it involves something that will probably lose you a rune arc as well. So we're going to combine, combine these two so that after you've already lost your rune arc doing one, just leave your rune arc out of Gobrick's Great Rune and we'll go into Grey Lucario Crystal Tunnel and attempt that other platforming bit and then once we got both those done we'll reactivate our rune arc so at most we'll only lose one rune arc you get all that all right it's going to be a pop quiz tomorrow um yeah what we're going after first is the reign of arrows ash of war this is this is a great addition to our build um this starts off by going to a certain section in Kaled. I figure the Celia Crystal Tunnel is a great place to start, okay? So everybody go to the Celia Crystal Tunnel in Kaelid. And we're just going to do a little hit and run to get a painting in the Town of Sorcery, Celia the Town of Sorcery. Right over that way. That's where we're going. I think there's a rotten stray ash, spirit ash on the way that we... Did I get this? 
No, he did not. Grab this. Yeah, grab that. Oh, there's a side of grace here. Huh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, alright, you wanna do this? Bad. All right, let's shake the combat. We're going up and to the right. I'll show you where it just go up here. Hang it right here. And you see there, that's where you're going right there. This painting right here. Ouch. Examine, and that's it. And get out of here. That's all you have to do. Let's just rest here to get him out of combat. Okay, so it's the same with all paintings. We found this should be in our inventory now. This right here. Okay. The work of a wandering artist, reminiscence, reminiscence of a painting titled Red Main. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of these those welcomed in death's embrace. The soul of the painter. Da, 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 da. Basically, we have to find this location and that this location will get the prize and the prize is the ash of war rain of arrows all right so having done that everybody should now go to dragon barrel fork here on the north side of Kaled. okay dragon barrel fork now comes the tricky part Let me show you what's involved. I'm gonna ride up here and to the east. Stick to the right side as much as you can. You're gonna hook around this jar here. Right here. Double jump up. And here's exactly where you wanna be. This spirit spring is important. The location is an incredibly difficult platforming journey away. Down there. You have to get safely down on that platform down there. There's two ways of doing this. You can climb down or the method I prefer is to use the spirit spring and Use this spirit spring, and you're going to try to jump your horse over to this little V here. And you're going to probably come down right on this jar here. And as soon as you get right close to the jar, you're going to double jump again, and that will pop you over. And because you're still under the effects of the spirit spring, you'll go down and you'll land way down on that platform down there safely. Ostensibly. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. The other way is to just climb down, which I always blow. I, I mean, I've blown it a bazillion, bazillion times. I have made it. But if you want to climb down, what you'd have to do is... Let's just assume I'm going to lose a rune arc anyways. Um, so, let's do this smart. Might as well blow all our money on arrows. It's not sure we're going to get our money back. So, always spend all your money. Goodbye. Okay, so I have three runes to, lo to lose. Back to Dragon Barrel Fork. And between this and the next difficult platforming endeavor in Rayo Lucario Crystal Tunnel, you're probably going to lose a rune arc anyway. So just say goodbye to a rune arc. But only the one, all right? Let me first attempt it. The, the, how should we say, the parkour way, climbing down. Which some of you may prefer. I don't know. 
the spirit spring way is, is is easier but it's also equally as tricky and equally as dangerous because if you blow it sometimes torrent just kind of tumbles over the edge like you bounce off this thing and you tumble over the edge and then you end up dying you know so it's it's equally as dangerous okay so we gotta land out that tree branch down there yeah there we go we go around here like this Then you go up on this tree branch here and just slide off the side here like this to this one. Then I go to the end here. I'm gonna jump down to this platform. And I died. I can't demonstrate the entire thing because I'd have to, like, you know, make it. There's a number of different ways of climbing down. That's the basics. That's that's how you start off. And then from that point, there's a number of different ways to proceed. Let's try the spirit jump way. The spirit uh, spring way. It's going to take a couple of attempts to uh, let me just play it smart here. Okay, so that's the jar. Let's lay out a few rainbow stones as markers. Do I have any rainbow stones? Slack, you were supposed to make some rainbow stones. Oh, I did have some. Okay, let me just lay out a few here. Okay, so we got some landing lights. <laughs> Can I see him? Yep. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, you want to get at the... the outer edge of the spirit spring. Right? Jump! Push forward, double jump. That see, I blew it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes is for Torrent's hoof to clip on the edge, and then that your spirit spring free fall is, is broken. You got to clear that edge. Obviously, you do not re reactivate your rune arc. Okay? You know you're gonna, just going to leave it empty. Hope I don't need to explain that. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for what? Did I make it? Here, I made it. Second try. How about that? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now, there is a giant golem over there. You don't want to mix it up with him. Just leave him alone. Don't screw with him and he won't screw with you. Basically, you're going to go in a southerly direction to the edge here until you see kind of the spirit appear. Don't go near that guy. Go to the edge first and then you're going to work your way over. There he is.
and here is the Ash of War Reign of Arrows. This is insane. It's really great. Okay, so that's how to get it. Let me take one more stab at um, climbing down manually. Just for demonstrational purposes. Okay, go to the V. Go here. I was reading some comments about some different ways of doing this. I didn't really get it. This is the way I figured out. Some of you may want to post some comments about some different ways of which branches to jump off. Um, Yeah, go off this side, obviously, this is better to get down to the platform. Now, um, it's possible to get down to the platform below if you just very carefully inch off the edge and you go for this corner here. See? Just very, very carefully. Tick, tick, tick. Ah. I don't know, I leave it to you. You take it from there, post a comment. I have gotten down before. I don't think my way is the best way, but uh, I have gotten down before by doing it like that. How do you get down if you climb down? Post a comment, all right? Anyways, those are two ways of doing it. I think the Spirit Spring way is much easier, uh, but it is equally as dangerous. All right, so now let's go to Ray Lucario Crystal Tunnel because there's some more platforming there, which we might as well do now. before we reactivate our rune arc. Okay, and this starts off at the East Ray Lucaria Gate, side of Grace, at the north end of La Urania of the Lakes. should do. I suppose you want to see Ringing of Arrows in action. Um, first thing you should do, go to the round table and let's duplicate. This is one Ash of War that you definitely want to duplicate. I forget if it costs money to duplicate. Well, I took you no matter it. Lay out your arm. Rain of arrows. No, you just need a lost ash of war. And we have one. So duplicate that sucker. Definitely. Okay, so now we have two of them. And, um. Just for demonstrational purposes, let's slap it on the. the longbow. Okay, let's go to the Third Church of America. Basically what it does is it takes one arrow, shoots it way up into the air, and multiplies it into 12 arrows, and rains it down on the target. This is great for applying status effects. For example, let's try bleed.
Okay, so Rain of Arrows. It works best on stationary targets. So I want to wait till this guy stops moving around. Here we go. See that? See this, people? I killed this troll with three cheap ass blood bone arrows. Three of these. <laughs> So that is the power of rain, of arrows. You can put it on the great boat too. For now I want to put the mighty shot back on. And we have some money. We might as well spend it because we're bound to lose it in the next platforming. Adventure in the uh, Radio Lucario Crystal Tunnel. Ah, always a pleasure. Okay, stocking up some arrows here, boss. Easiest way to get to Radio Lucario Crystal Tunnel is, like I said, East Radio Lucario Gate. Okay, and point yourself southeast in a southeasterly direction. And we're gonna double see that pillar there. You're gonna double jump off the edge right next to this pillar. That will put you right into a spirit spring. Just trust me, okay? Break to the edge, double jump, and you'll land right on top of the spirit spring. No problem. There we go. And. Rio Lucario Crystal Tunnel is this location right here. Here it is. So basically we want to speed run in because we don't really want to, you know, kill a bunch of enemies or waste time killing enemies because we may just lose the money anyways attempting this difficult piece of platforming difficult bit of platforming so let's see if we can get by this guy here turn the corner here Okay, and we gotta take this. Actually, we can get by all these guys. They don't even have to take a. So, you gotta get on this beam here and go all the way across. Alright, and we gotta get across to there. This is a pain, but I have done it. And if I keep dying, I'll just skip ahead to the successful run. Basically, for this first jump, I like to kind of jump towards the wall. Okay, so we're going to jump towards the wall. So if you overshoot, at least you bump into the wall. Okay. This is where it gets tricky. Uh, yeah! Shit. And usually I like to angle my jump so that's the same thing. You see, like... You bump into the wall there if you miss it, if you overshoot. Uh, yep. This is a really hard one. Okay, so we gotta make the shortest distance possible between. So that would be like right here. Okay, and you gotta like hold down the sprint button so that you kind of extend your jump. 
I made it. Great. Okay. And all that for a smithing stone three. Here's the same thing. That's, this is easy. And here's the same thing. We're going to make a, a running jump across here and try... Actually, that may not make sense. Maybe here. Okay, I'll try here. Uh, here we go. Okay, I made it. First try. Excellent. And all that for a somber smithing stone three. At least we got it. Done and done. Okay, so, um, hmm. Uh, I don't know how easy this is. Uh, I think the best thing to do is just simply use the memory of grace. I have no money. So, and we have no rune arc. It doesn't matter because you don't lose rune arcs anyways using memories of grace. Done and done. Okay, so having done all that, um, now we can reactivate our rune arc. ready to go. <laughs> a little bit of dangerous platforming there. Okay, and I think it makes sense to do the Ray Lucario Crystal Tunnel um, in the next video because this is quite the journey. It's a, it's a big complex and lots of smithing stones and lots of combat and it's going to end up in the Crystallion boss fight which like I said will earn us the smithing stone one miner's bell bearing and allow us to buy an unlimited supply of smithing stone one and two from the Twin Maiden Husks. All right, so that's coming up next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page, and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1, that's $1, that's all, that's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.